Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Evelyn. Today I am reviewing two serums from Verst, which is a skincare brand that I really really like and that I have just recently discovered. And it's also a brand that's relatively new from 2019, so um, yeah, I'm hoping that this review is going to be helpful for some of you. So the two products that I'm reviewing today is first of all the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. It looks like this in like a little blue bottle with a dropper. This serum is meant for um, congested skin, is meant for blemish prone skin or problem skin or any type of, you know, acne, basically. First of all, this serum uh, retails for $19.99 on their website. If you're not from America, if you're from Europe, you can also get this, uh, you can also get Verse products on Cult Beauty or Revolve.com or even BeautyBay.com if that works in your country, I'm not sure. Um, but it's basically like a really runny type of serum that really targets acne before it comes. I feel like once you have acne or once that pimple has already come out it's not really gonna do much for that but it's just to keep the balance like the oil production um out of balance so that you know it, it will prevent further further acne on your skin it's also fragrance free and it's alcohol free so that's really good if you have sensitive skin like me. I just want to say that my skin type is oily combination, acne prone and sensitive skin. So obviously that is like a very complex structure. And the reason I am mentioning my skin type is because I, you know, when I, whenever I look for reviews, I really want to know what kind of skin type someone has so that I can compare then those products that is working for them if they are going to work for my skin. Because obviously everyone's skin type is so different and this might not be, you know, very effective on someone with a dry skin type. I don't know. So some of the main ingredients of this product are actually niacinamide, which is B5. Uh, it is Salix nigra, which is a plant extract that contains salicin. However, it's not salicylic acid. Um, and it also contains zinc gluconate, uh, which apparently is not the same as zinc, but it's, it's like a derivative of zinc, I believe, uh, which is basically a mild acid produced from the sugar glucose. Then it's also got sodium hyaluronate, which is a salt form of HA, which is hyaluronic acid. And uh, what basically what hyaluronic acid is that it it retains moisture from the air into the skin. Basically, with sodium hyaluronate, it, it supposedly has smaller molecular size, so it will easier penetrate into the skin. So that I think that's a really good ingredient to use instead of hyaluronic acid. Then it also, of course, it does have BHA because it is meant for blemish prone skin. It doesn't have a lot of salicylic acid. I actually asked the brand how um, what the percentage of salicylic acid was and they actually told me it's only 0.02% um, percent but it's still a very, very effective formula. It may not have like very high percentage of BHA or anything like that, but I think the, the conjunction of all of these um, ingredients is really what makes it uh, effective. And I also think that the formulation is so well-rounded. I really, really like the Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. I really recommend it for anyone who has acne prone skin and also has like combination and oily skin. But even if, even if you don't have a lot of acne, I still believe it controls or it regulates your sebum production. Um, which is really all I'm looking for in a serum because I feel like the more oily my skin is or the, the stickier the oil is that my skin produces is, um, the, the more acne like sensitive my skin gets. The second serum that I want to review is the Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum, which contains vitamin C and liquid root, <laughs> liquid root extract. This serum is more of a jelly consistency, uh, but it's still, it still sinks into your skin so beautifully, even on oily skin, yes. Uh, this also retails for $19.99, and you can also find it on Cold Beauty. I'm saying that because you can't actually find all of the Verst um, products on Cold Beauty, unfortunately, but I'm hoping that they're going to eventually just have the whole range, the whole collection, because I really want to try more products especially the retinol. This one also is fragrance and alcohol free, which I really like. And I'm, I'm starting to wonder if maybe all of their products actually are alcohol and fragrance free. And when I say fragrance, I also mean natural fragrance. So any type of like 
um, you know, essential oil or like a, like a citrus oil or something, that is also te technically a fragrance which can be sensitizing even though it's supposedly natural. The main ingredients of this is licorice root extract, which is a plant extract that is actually a antioxidant as well. And if people, if you don't know what an antioxidant does for the skin, basically an antioxidant uh, protects the skin barrier from any free radicals or it protects from any free radical damage. Uh, and any free radicals are like the sun exposure, pollution, uh, or any just like environmental changes that our skin kind of is affected by. And then it's got sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a water soluble form of vitamin C. And a vitamin C is also a very good antioxidant, obviously. However, I don't know the exact percentage of vitamin C. I've asked first on Instagram, I've asked them in a DM. And then it's got niacinamide as well, or B5. And it's got citric acid, which um, this was a bit, a little bit hard for me to research because in my opinion, it's it's just like an AHA, um, like any kind of like citrus fruit extract would be. But apparently if you don't have like a higher percentage of citric acid, it doesn't really work as well as for example, glycolic acid or lactic acid, which are um, exfoliants that are a little bit more researched. Then it's also got algae extract, with it, which is also a natural type of antioxidant. Um, and it's got sodium hyaluronate as well. Now, this serum really surprised me. At first, I thought nothing was going to happen, honestly, because I have a lot of scarring, but I always uh, break out in this area. And for some reason, the acne that I get here is always cystic and it keeps, it keeps lingering for forever. Like the post hyperpigmentation that I get on my cheeks, it lingers on for months and months and months and I feel like every time I get a new pimple it kind of like goes I, my skin goes back to square one obviously not if I just get one once in a while but like as soon as I get like two or three uh, the hyperpigmentation stays quite long and I know that a lot of people are battling this but for some reason like this has really worked on my skin and I think it's the conjunction of using both the serums uh, kind of um, sideways that has uh, not sideways <laughs> And it might be like a consistency thing too. Um, not only does it have, you know, really a really well-rounded formula, but I think that it doesn't really matter that the percentages are low uh, as long as the, you know, the ingredients are actually working. Because if you're using something consistently, obviously, even if it's a low or high percentage, it's going to make some sort of difference. Of course, it's not going to be as effective as, for example, like a 10... 10% vitamin C uh, serum or like a 30% vitamin C serum, which I have seen in, I think, Cosrx has that. The good thing about Verse is because they have such low percentage uh, of, uh, of actives in their ingredients, I feel like it's very good like beginner uh, beginner steps for people who either have not never used actives before or people just uh, or just people who have sensitive skin like me so yeah I really recommend this if you've never used a vitamin C before and if you get kind of sensitive to vitamin C sometimes or if you break out because of it uh, I really do think that this is very gentle that was all I had to say I also want to say that I I believe verse to be a very nice brand and I really like how communicative they are on for example Instagram I'm really trying to grow my Instagram account and I always like to communicate with the brands that I like and companies that I like and whenever I reach out to Verse to, to ask them something about like whether it be ethics or ingredients, they always answer very fast and very efficiently and they're very honest in their answers. So I do believe it's like one of those smaller brands that are going to grow a lot this year and the years to come. So I'm really excited to see um, where this brand will go. I know that they are also cruelty free and they, they do really incorporate sustainability into their product formulations and they do really try to stay away from um, you know unnecessary products that are um, they do say that they're not clean products I would I don't know if I would agree with you know using the term clean for the in this case but they I feel like they do really take a stand on making their um, making their packaging more sustainable and um, lowering, lowering their carbon footprint and yeah I cannot say more good things about them. That's all I had to say in this review. I really hope that you liked it and that it helped you. Please uh, give it a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel if you want because I will be uploading a new video every Monday. So yeah, stay tuned for that and I hope you have a great day. Bye!